so today we are going to learn about global map as we discussed about variables a channel map variables as the scope is limited for both of them for a global maps the scope is limited to the complete merge integration engine means if you have like 100 channels over here you can use that particular variable everywhere so generally uh, the usage of this global map is like something like uh, when we generally use a very common thing like when we have like server IDs or any particular details which would be common to all the channels and we need to use it you can use it and even if it is specific to few of the channels for example the sending facility and everything will be specific to few of the channels and hospitals you can use that uh, particular uh, global map there are a lot of scenarios but uh, I want to explain it in a very very simple way so I just created a small uh, code for this so I'll just go back to my global variable like uh, this particular JavaScript step inside so what I did so generally uh, MSH12 is version ID so I made sure uh, it's uh, not 2.3 or 2.6 or 8 I just made it uh, completely different it looks like uh, 9.99 so what I did I just uh, hard coded it to 9.9 .9 with the variable MH12 now the important step is like creating a global variable so by using global map dot put I just put this MSH12 to version ID so in a very lame words I just moved this MSH12 to the version ID what we have inside MSH12 MSH9 automatically MSH9 this 9.99 will go into the version ID that's perfect right so we created a global variable which is nothing but a uh, version ID and we can use this particular version ID which has value 9.99 everywhere inside the channels like everywhere everywhere in the complete uh, Marth integration engine so if I if I go to dashboard sometimes even you can see uh, if you go to global maps you can see it has version ID I created somewhere server ID so there are a lot of things so what I'll do I'll just go back to my variable so just now I created this variable inside eight variables channel so I just want to test it out by creating the same like pulling the same from another channel so I'll what I'll do I'll go to this test channel which I created I'll open it I'll go back to yeah I'll go for transformer so this place I'm just trying to retrieve what I created previously so I created version ID in other channel now I am using to retrieve it by using global map dot get this is very important very very important so when I created uh, this global map dot get and version ID and assigning this values to MSH 12 don't get confused it is very simple even you can just copy it from here and assign it over here so this is a good way of uh, doing coding so I just assigned it to variable first and again I assigned it to MSH 3.1 Oh, so generally it should be in uh, uh, version ID should be in MSH uh, like uh, yeah, 12 processing ID and version ID. But I assigned it to MSH 3.1. Let's see how how things work here. So the value should be copied to MSH 3.1, the 9.99 value. So I'll go back. I'll save the changes. I'll make sure it has been ticked, and I'll deploy the channel. So now let's see the fun. We created a variable in this channel and we are going to use that variable over here and what I'll do I'll just uh, try to send a message I'll copy and I have sending application over here and let's see what is the output I'll just process it and you can see it should come to perfect we didn't get an error and yeah this is a testing time sending application and in the encoded part you can see it has been changed to 9.99 this is very good right so the thing is like you haven't done anything you created a global variable in one channel and you used in another channel you can do the same in everywhere and that will work perfectly without uh, any issues and you can do you can do anything with global variables you can call in one channel you can uh, retrieve it somewhere else and this is a very very uh, basic example which I have shown you can do uh, a lot uh, with this global so like saying passwords and a lot of things so that would uh, really help in real time so by this we'll be able to cover uh, what is variable channel map and global map if you haven't covered uh, what are the previous videos go ahead and check it so it will be a very good uh, learning and we are going to use variables everywhere inside uh, Marth integration engine in each and every channel for every project so yep that's it we are completed with the variable sessions thank you